I save gold and silver, which are God's money. As God's money has been here since the earth was formed. And right. so it's, it's silver, gold, and you know, I, I, I shifted to Bitcoin. I, st I still bought as much gold as, I mean, I'm still buying gold. I bought some the other day because this guy had uh, some 10 ounce bars where you know, you know, kilos come in. And they're hard to get. I mean, it's really yeah. hard to get. That's right. And it's getting hard. I couldn't even buy silver the other day. I mean, this is 2021. Well, what does that but tell you? Supplies are gone. <clears throat> That's right. And, and, that's and, a, and plus, so, plus, and plus they're suppressing people, the prices. They're people don't know this. The prices. Yeah, they don't. They don't understand how this works, Robert. So imagine if you go to McDonald's and there's a dollar menu, and they say you can get this item for a dollar. You order the item, and they say it'll be three fifty. Wait a minute. I thought it was a dollar. Yeah, that's right. That's the price. But if you want one, it's three fifty. That's how it works with gold. The price is eighteen hundred. Oh, I'd like to have an ounce. Okay, it'll be two thousand. Well, wait a minute. I, I don't understand. And you got to wait two months for it. So why is the price eighteen hundred? Well, that's just the price because we're able to financially engineer the futures market to keep the price low. But if you actually want an ounce, it's much more. And then there was this huge war between you know Robin Hood, Reddit against uh, GameStop, and the little guys kind of won, but they got their asses kicked. They tried it with silver, and they couldn't do it because that's real money. Silver and gold are God's money. They couldn't, they couldn't mess with the market because the big producers out of the, the comics and, you know, Tesla, Apple, Toshiba, Microsoft, all these guys who use silver kept the price suppressed, you know? And so you idiots out there saving US dollars or pesos or yen or Euro, get E.B. Tucker's book, Why Go, Why Now? Cause you're getting screwed. I mean, like, you know, like when, when people argue about gold over Bitcoin, now you just quote, you know, Yogi Berra. When you come to the fork in the road, take all three. You know, I, I yep. have all three. And right now I'm high on silver because it's the most suppressed. It's 50% below its all time high yet. That's how That's right. they've manipulated the market. And what I liked about your book, you, you explain how it's manipulated. So can you give a quick scenario of how they keep the price manipulated? When you see the price of silver trade, like on this Bloomberg screen behind me, you're not actually seeing the physical price of silver. You're seeing a contract for future silver delivery, which will never happen, it will be settled in dollars. And so the guys in New York are able to sell an unlimited amount of those contracts into the market and settle those in dollars. It's called the futures market. Now, you don't see this with copper, which is at an all time high. It's, it's been running all year because we're experiencing big inflation. You don't see this with lumber. Have you bought a two by four recently? I have, the price is <laughs> double. So, so all of the things that we buy that we need are going up in price, but the metals are different because, because it's in the government's best interest to keep the price down. And so you create financial products called futures that you're able to unload into the market to keep the price down. And that's that's creating a difference between the gold price and other commodities. It distracts people. Now, Bitcoin is, to your point, is great, but Bitcoin is not digital gold because gold is not physical Bitcoin. These two things are not interchangeable. They're very different. So people ask all the time, should I buy one or the other? It's not like that. That's 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 not the case you know it, 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 these are two very different things and they should be looked at differently we talk in the book as you know in part three about how bitcoin was created and we we have a theory behind who might have created it which i don't think many people you know go into and they, they'll see that in the book but this is a very different asset this is not the same thing as gold that's correct the most important thing is you want to know the differences between silver and gold and gold silver and bitcoin and you can make a more logical decision and then, you know, I, I caught hell the other day, said, how can you buy Bitcoin at $50,000? I said, I didn't buy it at 50,000. And this is my point to everybody right now, is that silver and gold, the prices are held down now. Right. And if you're watching Bitcoin, but the real action is gonna take place. And I could be wrong, but I think it's silver than gold. That's right, it's so happening it's right so, now. You, it's you, you so manipulated. It. I have a huge trade on this, by the way. You can see it right now happening. It's like a beach ball that you've pulled down under the water, 10 feet under the water. And when you let it go, it's going to go flying, not just to the surface, but way up in the air and out of the pool. That's 
that's what silver looks like. But people need to understand something, Robert. You don't buy gold to make a profit. Right. Gold is not a trade. It's wealth. It's real money. There are other things that we can talk about that you buy to make a profit. But gold is about financial security. It's about insurance. It's an ins- it's a fire insurance policy. You don't buy fire insurance to make money unless you're a criminal. But but you buy fire insurance so that you can protect what you have and you can build from there. If you lose your foundation, you're in big trouble. Yep. And, and so there's differences between silver, gold, and Bitcoin, and they're all significant differences. And you know, it's, if I told you today you could buy Bitcoin at five dollars, would you say I'll think about it? But that's what we're saying is happening with silver and gold right now because it's manipulated. But it's even worse than that is because I took a friend of mine down to Argentina because this guy is, you know, highly educated, very successful and all this, but he is old school. And I took him to Argentina to meet my friend who was an engineer, a civil, I mean, electrical engineer in Argentina. He had a, he had a electrical engineering firm. He said he, he saved US dollars. He had a million US dollars in the bank in Argentina. And then one day the bank told them, they said that we took your, we took your money. And they said, oh, don't worry, we'll give you a million in Argentine peso or whatever they trade in. Yep, peso, that's right. And, and so I took my, my so I, I, and he said, do you have any advice? He says, if I had plata or oro, you know, which is gold or silver, yep. and I yep. had outside the country, I would be okay but because I had everything inside the banking system of Argentina and worst of all in US dollars and they exchange it for pesos, I'm trapped. I can't get out of this country because the economy collapsed. So I, I looked at my friend, he goes, God, this is good. I'm glad you saw this, you know, that was five years ago. Well, that's why I'm going back to my friend five years ago. And, the other, and so I just talked to him and said, how much silver did you buy? He goes, I didn't buy any. He says, well, well, I don't understand it. So that's why I suggest people read your book, Why Gold Right Now, because then you can make a better distinction between silver, gold, and Bitcoin. They're all different. They have strengths and they have weaknesses. There's a lot to understand on this subject because like I say, gold and silver is God's money. Bitcoin and crypto is people's money. It's outside the system. That's right. And, And you can do it legally. And I'm, I'm laughing right now because Yellen and Janet Yellen and Powell are on attack against Bitcoin. And, and the, uh, Yellen says it's not, it's not efficient. I said, well, is printing a trillion dollars efficient? And I'm going, are you kidding me? And Powell is now making a warning, creating a warning against Bitcoin. So they're scared right now because the system is collapsing. 